Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We are still in San Antonio, Texas. And we're going into Craft Teaks Mall off of Military Highway. A subscriber suggested that I go in here and take a look around at this antiques and craft store. They should have purses and jewelry and more. I'm going to go look for things to pack up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So hit that subscription bell, subscribe to the channel for those daily uploads of videos and those live buy it nows of auction and auctions of purses and jewelry. Hit that notification bell and click all. And don't forget to give a thumbs up. Let's go in here and see what goodies we can find. I can't wait. First time here, I doubt it'll be the last. So we're going to look at a lot of, oh my gosh, look, there's jewelry already. So let's see here. What are we going to look at first? We're just going to look around. So we're going to look at a little bit of everything, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of everything. I love, love, love antique malls. Now that is a huge statue right there. $70. Not bad at all. That's probably about two feet tall. We're not skipping the jewelry. We're still going to look at it. But I'm looking at these window dressings first. I love them. Wow, I like that right there. Pheasant needle stitch. Now, that's a great picture right there. That might be a good one in the Airbnb. I'm not sure. What do y'all think? Comment below. Let me know what you think. It's a great needle stitch. I love when old buffet tables are redone like this one. I've never done anything like that. I forget what they call that when they do the, uh, when they redo the tables and make them, you know, paint them up and things like that. If y'all know what that's called, let me know because I've totally forgotten. It's not decoupage. Decoupage is when you, um, I guess put some kind of a sticker on there. Not sure. Excuse me. Look at this. Not an oil painting, but made to look like an oil painting. Evil Eye Bracelet, $10. And I'll try to show you without glare, but no promises. No promises. So definitely lots of jewelry here. There's going to be a little bit of glare.
at Yatsuki Lounge. Oops, I don't think I can. Lots of rings. They have tons. And this one's cool right here. Look at that. Look at the one that looks like a saddle with turquoise. Look at this. That one's gorgeous also. It's huge. like a Sajin right there. Ooh, look at this one right here. These are beautiful. Can you imagine how much fun the person collecting these had? Coming up on a huge amber necklace, I mean amber ring. Look at this one. Look at that right there. Gorgeous rings. On the top there, there's three, six trays, and then you have six more down here. This is so much. You're not gonna see these as well on the bottom though. I'm so sorry. So much reflection. And they've got lots of bracelets too. So lots of selections of rings here. And even more. So the person that told me about this place was right. There is tons of jewelry. Nearly, I wouldn't know if that was a squash blossom necklace or not. I don't think that's squash blossom, but it's, you know, kind of the idea. I would love to be the vendor that found all of this gorgeousness and now gets to pass it on to someone else. Me too. So yeah, if you want to be in jewelry heaven, I think that this craptic mall in San Antonio, Texas is your place. We have some hanging up too. Look at this one. It's a tiger eye. Ooh, that one's pretty. Sterling silver. Let me show you up close on that one. Hope y'all enjoy these videos and hope you feel like you are thrifting with me. 
Ooh, look at that. How much is that one? I love thrifting, but I love that y'all get to come along also. So this booth has been 30% off, I guess, all year. January the 2nd to December 31st. Golden diamonds there. Have you ever seen so much amber in one place? We are going to zoom in on this and we're going to go kind of slow. So y'all can see all of this. Yes, Meg Yolk and Amber. Look at all these bracelets. That necklace is gorgeous. The one that looks like stones right there. Look at that. Never seen an antique store have so much jewelry. So as I'm showing y'all jewelry, I'm also looking to see if there's anything we can pick up for resale. But even if there's not, I love to go into the antique stores and enjoy the beautiful jewelry that they have. It's always fun to see other people's take on what they pick up. And even on the outside of the booth, they have lots, lots more jewelry. I mean, I've just never seen so much jewelry. And even more. Even more. Look at this one. Okay, I'm in love. I am in love. And not just with this one, but look at this next one. Look how huge this is. That one right there. That is $125. That is probably about one and a half to two inches long. So the camera is not going to do it justice. My gosh, but that necklace is great too. Isn't it beautiful? We wish that cameo was $14, but it's not. It's the necklace next to it. Look at these bookends. $68. Telling you, jewelry everywhere. Ready for the holidays? You will be with those. And I totally missed this tooled leather purse. Look what I found, and I'm getting it. Look at this. 
that is gorgeous even though that's not turquoise this might be but the big white stone is not it's still beautiful I'm getting it Ooh, these are cute for Christmas So that is a gorgeous necklace and we are packing it up. We are. This is a cucumber with a hat. Made in Poland. There you go, that's a Christmas ornament that you won't ever forget. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking. We're looking. So that necklace is beautiful. What are these? Ornaments? It can be. $6.99. So there's some kind of cards that can be made into ornaments. Look at this one. Oh, I love it. Love this one right here. Look at that. Yeah, when you're in a store like this, to think of what thumbnail are you going to use so that people know that this store is absolutely fantastic. And that is hard to figure out. But hopefully y'all know that this store is fantastic and it's definitely one you don't want to miss. So this is just one of the first booths and I'm going to show you down the hallway how big this place is oh now that's pretty I like it let me show you up close on that one That is gorgeous, and it is not missing any stones whatsoever. And I love the chain, too. I think we're going to pack that one up. It's not designer marked, but that is pretty. And I nearly missed this, so we're going to look at lighting, too, obviously. But look at this beautiful light here for $99. Look how pretty that is. That is super inexpensive, but it looks rich. It's lots of stickers, but look how huge this store is. It's just one booth after the other. As I get tongue tied, it's one booth after the other. Exactly. Oh, look at that. Sparkle keychains. Uh, that is me right there, right here. That's me. Murano glass beads there in the back. Did we spot a purse? We did. This is gorgeous. Look at that. This is Chico's. It's a little fancy southwestern look to it. Watch how she swings and sways. That's a cute beaded bag too. Look at this one. And more jewelry. A little bit of a glare. Oh, look at these glasses. Uh,
I love them. So there's only two of the taller ones, and then you've got those right there. But look at these. Aren't these beautiful? Love. Can these be used for wine, or what are these goblets for? I don't know, but I just love the color of them. I hate splitting sets, but the thing is, is there's not really a set here. There's, it's definitely a mix and match, but I'm not going to get any of these smaller ones. So what I did do is got the two larger, well, there's a third larger one. So I got the two larger ones and I guess I'm going to get this third larger one, but I just think those are super cute and I don't want to leave them behind and they're yellow. So they'll go with the farmhouse really well. So they're gold color kind of reminds you of honey. So we're getting those. I have some like this already. Love those. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Uh, look at the shape. Aren't those gorgeous? Cute perfume bottle. Look at these wine goblets, though. So what do you have? You have three. No, you have five. the one there in the back how much are these cuties $29 a piece or is that the set of five for 29 it's 20 it says so $30 a piece well this cute blown glass lamp a little bit of crack right here but not a big deal I put another shade on it but I think it's gorgeous There's a cute sign too, like that. Let's look around this booth a little bit. This has kind of got some country farmhouse, a little bit of country farmhouse. Some Egyptian revival we see there. Just a little bit of Egyptian. Love old signage, I love it so much. And this is only $14, it is not antique. But doesn't it look so like it is? I think so. This looks old, but it's I don't believe it is. It is not. But it has the feel of looking old. Look at that. That's great also. You never know what you're gonna run her into. And we ran into some purses. Let's see what they've got here, little Ralph Lauren. Now this is a great trinket box. Oh, that's a doll? I thought that was a trinket box. Maybe that used to be the top of a trinket box. I'm not sure. I thought that's what I thought it was at first. Oh, look at these. Little jewelry art. Her name is Chanel Bedspread. And I know what a Chanel bedspread is, but it's just kind of ironic that it's on the back there. So I think her name is probably Chanel bedspread. I think it is. Look at this candy corn purse. For all of you that love candy corn, it's a vinyl candy corn purse. How great is that? Let's look up in here. This is some interesting stuff right here. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll be. I'll be. Definitely some interesting art. Hmm. See the spiders? 
inside there. Now that's crazy. Look at that. Lots more jewelry. Look at these. Set of eight, twenty nine dollars. Handmade costume jewelry tree. Look at this. Pretty necklace. Got this one right here. So it makes me wonder when I'm picking up these goblets, should I get all the same? Or should I just get different ones? I'm thinking I don't need all those yellows. I think what I should do, and y'all can comment below and let me know, but I'll probably do it anyway, is just get one of these. And then get one of these right here. That way you've got different colors. And I think that is probably the most perfect idea. I really do. Oops, I really do. I really do. I think that's wonderful. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take, we're going to get different colored ones. Try to get a set of six. Look at these. These are the ones. So these say green sherbet dish. But you know, I think those are the ones that glow. These are only two dollars and fifty cents. They have a lot of them. Three dollars for these. That's a good deal too. Is this an old picture? It is. Zoom in on that. So yeah, executive decision made. We are going to get different. I love that. We're gonna diff get different colored glasses if we can while we're in here. Preferably the stem goblets because I wanted to have at least 10 of them. At least 10 sharp dressed man right there. What is in this booth? Oh well, set of four. This one's uh, five a piece. Aren't those beautiful? Look at these. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love the old glassware. I just don't know why you would buy new. When the old has so much character. So Jennifer Shepard, if you are watching, you are absolutely correct. Craftiques has it all for sure. So thank you for that recommendation. I'm so glad that I am able to stop by here before heading out. Set of two love this place so much and every time I'm back I'm gonna come in here but we're just getting started we're not leaving anywhere yet we are not leaving anywhere yet look at this abalone necklace here isn't that something gorgeous gorgeous gorgeous
Look at that. And there's a soapstone scarab. We are on a mission. What are we on a mission for? Card holder. We are on a mission for goblets. Goblets, goblets, goblets. Head century modern glassware. Love it. Look at this little guy right here. Giga Maggies. So yeah, if you're in the San Antonio area, stop by Craft Teaks. They even has a have a cozy cafeteria back here to eat. Look. So called Garden Tea Lounge. What is all this? Oh, different souvenirs for San Antonio. What is this little guy right here? He's a, he's a little bit. Look at him. He looks like he has a wood face. See what I'm talking about on these aisles? There's like six of them, six or seven. Six or seven aisles of goodness. And I don't mean goodness gracious, I'm talking about goodness. Goodness, is this a real Prada? Is it? Is this a real Prada at the antique store? I don't know. It's $35. Could it be? Could it be? I don't know. Look at this beautiful tool leather bag. You gotta look around. You got to look around. So this is a huge bag. So when you're walking around looking at all the nooks and crannies, you don't want to miss anything. You don't, you don't. You sure, sure don't. Look at this candle holder here. Nine dollars for Santa Claus candle holder. Double sided. Wish they had two of those candle holders, at least one similar. I really like it a lot. Would definitely pack it up. Oh my gosh. Let's see what they got here. Look at this huge butterfly brooch at the back. I love the big one, the big blue one, I love it. And look at the United States flag. This is somebody with a great eye. Jen Shepard, you are correct. Little thermoset right there, the blue. Have you some camp, some cameos? An old wooden pipe holder. Look at this. Love folk art. those earrings meaning the amber colored ones Ooh. 
Look at these right here. What a surprise. I don't know if those are sterling or not. Love me some amber. How about y'all? Mother of Pearl pendant necklace made to look like a tooth. That's pretty also. Lots of Christmas ornaments around here too. Love Christmas ornaments, but I have tons of vintage ones and things like that that I'm gonna use my tree. Who's this candy elf doll? Look at him. Set him in the trees. Cute. Have you ever seen a turkey phone before? Look at this one. $279. Now that's funny. Who in the... Is this from the 50s? I mean, who would have had a turkey phone in their house? They definitely must have had a great sense of humor. For sure. $6.99 each, wow. more cute little goblets. This booth's 25% off. Okay, let me tell you, not this one. Look how gorgeous this one is. Look at this. That's glass, not acrylic. Isn't that gorgeous and wouldn't that look beautiful? To wear at Christmas. Here's a beautiful. Here's a beautiful. Here's a. I was gonna say beautiful. Here's a beautiful crocheted handbag. Look at this. Now that is gorgeous. That's gorgeous, ladies. Y'all are lucky. Because you get such beautiful things. You do, you do, you do. That is beautiful. It's We used to keep the fat after cooking when I was growing up. I think that's still a thing. Is that a Lucille Ball creamer? Oh, it's a Barbie head. I thought that was Lucille Ball there for a minute. Huh. Well, I've been wrong once. I've been wrong. I could be wrong again. That's okay. That is okay with me.
some old Pyrex here. Love Pyrex. Love it. Look at this baking dish. From Denmark. And look at these glasses. Oh, look at these. Around any corner could be a lot more jewelry. Look at this keychain. And you have all these also, just lots of jewelry around this booth. Love the dough rollers. And I don't think I've got one at the Airbnb. Wonder how much they are. I'd rather have the old ones than I would the new. Lots of vintage Pyrex. And around this corner you have a beautiful coach purse. It is $95. What is this one back here? Please tell me this is real croc or real leather. This is beautiful so far. So pretty. And it's a different kind of design. Different shape. It says vintage, but it's Talbot. Well, Talbots, I'll just tell you what, that is the most beautiful purse I've ever seen, and I've never seen a Talbots purse, but I assume that that is leather rock print. Isn't that a beautiful bag right there? And this coach is beautiful, too. And while I know that this is not new, but it does look vintage, y'all all know that in the Airbnb on one wall, I've been putting up a lot of um, different signage in the kitchen. And I love moon jewelry. Uh, who, oh gosh, Hello Strangers knows that. I love moon jewelry. So I'm going to get this for the Airbnb. We're going to put that in the kitchen up on the back wall because it is absolutely beautiful. So that wall in the kitchen is devoted to a lot of food signage and advertising. So I love that one. So we're going to take that home. That's going home with. CJ as we say. Hope y'all love it. If you do, comment below if you love the Harvest Moon type of jewelry and things like that. I would so pack this purse up for resale. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would. But I'm going to tell you why I can't. And I know that you can clean them. But look here on the back. I wouldn't even know how to begin cleaning that. We did a great job on these wreaths. It's kind of folk artish. Well, we ran into some purses. Well, hello. Let's see what this one is right here. This looks vintage. I am. Items without tags are not for sale, it says. So. Let's see what we've got. Liz Claiborne, Nine West.
Love this stone lamp. This one looks like bronze. This is bronze and rhinestones. Look at that. Maybe copper. Craftiques didn't disappoint, guys, ladies and gentlemen. So definitely come by here sometime if you're in San Antonio area and check them out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click that thumbs up for this video. Hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on live buy nows and auctions of purses and jewelry on my channel. And come with me this weekend to Canton, Texas. I'm going to the biggest flea market, I would say, in the United States, if not the world. But we're going to go there this weekend, so those will be multiple videos. So we're going to do a series of videos at that location. So I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Thank you for always supporting my channel. And until next video, I will see y'all later. Bye.